a cold the last time we really saw Teko, huh? Okay. They saw my game, guys. Liquid, they're like, shit, OG are very powerful with techies, and therefore we will pick it before they do. They were not wrong, guys. We were not wrong. I thought OG everything. I also thought Liquid everything, too, but I thought pretty much everybody everything. I so Laundred got banned instantly, they don't want to get Laundred against the uh, Voice Spirit. I made that, I, I got that read correctly with the Voice Spirit Magnus, I think. I mean Laundred Magnus. But what next follows? I don't know, actually. This is a hard call. This is where drafting becomes a little bit harder. A little bit more unpredictable. Bloodseeker Ember is a really strong core. Two really strong cores against Voice Spirit. Voice Spirit suffer against, suffers against the Bloodseeker a lot. He can't use ulti. And Ember is a classic counter matchup to Voice Spirit mid, even though I don't think it's that bad anymore. Very scary picks by Liquid, I think. I'm surprised OG didn't steal the Bloodseeker or the ma Monkey. The Ursa pick was similar to the Monkey, I thought. Like, it's a very similar hero. They just uh, prioritized Ursa. I think it's stronger. They might be right against these kind of heroes. Monkey suffers a little bit against Seeker Ember if they get to kite a little bit. I see the last pick here. Here we go. Undying. Ooh, that's an offlane undying again. Last time he did this against Bloodseeker, he owned. But, but guys, that was not against Liquid. This time I think it's a bit, gonna be a bit different. I don't like OG's lineup. I think it looks shit. But I don't know. Last time I saw them undying offlane, same thing happens. Get that early D ward, that gold. It's the mindset. Let's see, you gotta join the Discord. I think Yapsor is uh, probably gonna be down to watch soon. I'm guessing. While watching three replays of professional e gamers playing it before it does tend to give you. Oh, they swapped the lanes. Oh, they're gonna get first, but here too. Huge. Okay, that was really smart by Liquid, by the way. Sure, they swapped Magnus into a dying, but who cares? They dodged the Bloodseeker matchup. I think this was really game winning by Liquid. They even use this that was really smart. What is Techies doing on the cliff? Did Boxy get cliffed like I did? Or was it by... Just enjoying its time. Once to get was it by accident or did he do it on purpose? That we don't know. Is Boxy trying to die or is he trying to farm it? Dude, he's farming. Hey, he got the TP. He got the TP. Oh my god. Wait, what? Finally. Oh no, no. Okay, Zai's cooldown was on TP. I thought Boxy's was. I thought he accidentally cancelled. Okay, that's fine. Let's see the blast off. He's out. <laughs> out, yeah. He got level two. What, what nice, nice. Spending, what, two minutes on that cliff? <laughs> Just not too bad for Liquid down. anyway, but obviously goofy. It's actually big, because this lane was supposed to go really... Because this is pretty terrible to play into. Like, you're... Look where Zai's standing. He's at tier two tower right now. I thought you were going to say they were going to ban the Coddle so they don't get... Oh, this like our like Oh, of course not. <laughs> but, I, mean, some, I will say this, but... As well, so they can use that. I'm not about to that. Even though I like Cartesi. Friends with them and all. He's trying to oh. soak up but some people have some really annoying fan one, bases sometimes, you know? Also dies oh. DM. <laughs> sometimes they can get on my nerves, for sure. Like, but yeah, that's not his fault. The mid lane. There's not, not much happening as expected. Both spirits some are absolutely farm up. crazy people, Unless you know? you mess up terribly, you should not get a kill. Whenever I say Artur is not the best carry in the world, I literally get fucking people going crazy, you know? Like, dude, what the fuck? And that will be a, another one in this top. And that's going to be really good for this Bloodseeker. At least something right now is going right in one of the side lanes for Liquid. Is hmm. now Chu. Ooh, Aether Remnant from BZ. <laughs> Chu Hit on Anisha, but Anisha's very good with yeah. this shield. All right. Yeah, they, they, know they got they one kill mid here. Chu. Not much you can do there. The question is, which which spirit's gonna rotate first? You already use your lift. Neither of them really want to leave mid right now. Remnants. He had two available. Shield. He got the kill, stats-wise. Look at Boxy, he's lie. sneaky. Sneaky, <laughs> sneaky, suicide. Off. Here we go. Second, he's oh, he in. missed him. Oh, oh my god, Boxy. Now he's caught. No he's way. He's no way. Now and he's got TP? He's no, he's dead. He's dead. He out? What? Oh, he's dead. Dude. Dude. He died to Astral Step. But they missed the Q really spell on Boy Spirit and they missed Blinding Light. And Boxy actually gets it? That's so illegal. That is so humiliating. Who cares if he dies? That's so good. Use blinding light to get him off. He knew what was going to happen, but Boxy still timed it perfectly. He's just kind of gathering information while the rest of the team comes over. DM's going to use that ult and immediately blood grenade, fade bolt. Zai is kind of feeding though. At least, at least I got something going for them on OG. I'm worried though. Just died at DM and this undying continues. Is it enough? A big issue for this bottom lane for Liquid and right back to top for Chu. 
you know that with everything else of course when you could just pile it on all right that's a free play right they even down. use rp wow RP also used by zai so rupture and double RP, dk but he's starting to decay yeah skewer with two. the rupture easy skewer, kill and they get tombstone pretty big and some DM, extra gold he's pretty oh, tombstone so yeah. zai's getting it back what's happening action? mid holy shit nisha is 1v3 in here he just nisha got mid. mana from one though so he'll be fine as well nisha's by himself it's three on one but with the remnant away he's able to escape i mean I'm just staying ahead. He's not I actually couldn't watch. Ahead. And the sinister gaze, but I actually couldn't watch. he's going to be able to dissimilate, grab the Aether Remnant, now the double decay. The astral step of the kill on Odsania. BZM, though. Luckily, he's got that resonant pulse, but I don't oh my know God, he's dead. enough Mickey. with Mickey coming over and getting the kill on a BZM, now looking for more. Blood right down. That lands on Tiger and kills him. <coughs> so it's a double kill for a moving Bloodseeker. I feel like they got the best heroes. This Caudal hero, I feel like it's such a bitch compared to... <laughs> they will kill Tiger here. It's such a bitch compared to nice. Lich. Yeah, blast off, not gonna connect, but Sleight of Fist certainly does, and they'll get the kill there anyway. Lich literally forces you to buy Nullifier on like every carry. It's hella annoying. Is this? I'm a big item fiend. BZM. We're getting hit by that Sleight of Fist. Ape the Remnant. I'm in the app They don't really have... What up, brother? I, I heard you're famous now. Anymore. Astral what? Step yeah, you're on Reddit. Boxy's in oh, shit. What Proximity mine down. What that that'll mean? explode. Well, now one second. Frost bouncing around as Tiger okay. drops. Bit of a scuffle here, you know? Let's go see what happens first. The tombstone was committed. Hold your liquid is on here. You're down to watch? Working with a lot of mana anymore. Yeah, I'm watching. Tiger's back. We've seen Tiger's back, yeah. I didn't know it would be back, but OG only could play like one or two more. Much. Without him, before they were disqualified, the like they played with Sandin a lot. So, all <laughs> uh, right, I think you have like three or four max. Yeah, it's something like that. To play this farm game, as soon as they get like Hold one up. item on Ember Spirit, which is gonna be Metal RP, Strong. no hesitation on him. Lich ulti gonna come in here? No, he doesn't have it. Oh, anti combo, oopsies. Oh, he sold RP on true He doesn't really want to use it. Oh, maybe he should have though. That was a free kill. Didn't use it. Oh, he had to use RP there. They get the kill on his eye, so that's how do you feel as a heroic nice player? Get, especially feels bad using RP there, but you kind of have to, right? Oh, yeah, I think just use it. It's too early for it to have much value later. The Chulti, it's gonna bounce a bit. Tombstone, DM is dying. No, oh, this Lich Ulti is so lucky. Holy shit. Oh my god, what a Lich Ulti. All right, Oyspirit goes in. He does not have damage for this, right? Nice. He knows he has RP behind, but yeah. it's not real. It's not a oh, yeah, yeah, this is so bad. Jesus. They got pretty rinsed there on OG. That's a 3k lead now. Oh, no. Very game losing. Wait, Boxy? Could he maybe kill him on BZM? Uh, taking a hot shower before pubs is never a good idea. A hot shower? Oh. Yeah. What is it? The steam gets in your brain? What happens? I don't know. You get too relaxed, you know? You have to be tense oh. to play the game and, you know, for your APM and shit to be high. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about this in the team, too. Like, it's it's a real thing. I didn't even know about that, but alright, I'll take your word for it. For me, it's like, I, I can't eat big meals before I do pubs. That's one. I mean, big meal, of course, you know, especially yeah. if it's heavy on carbs, you know, you, you become lazy. The same thing with hot showers, the same exact concept. You're too relaxed, you know. I see, I see. Okay, all right. Uh, I'll believe that. Yeah, your APM goes down. You know the drill. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice... I mean, Mickey is like, yeah, give your life for me, Lich. I'll take this. He's so... F this is like one of the fattest Bloodseekers at 16 minutes. He's so big. Be honest, Tekis seems like just the best. Oh, Tekis is broken, but he was first pick. That's the only plus four I play right now. <laughs> it's just Tekis. <laughs> okay, okay. So I just hit people, you know, and then late game you're actually doing a lot, you know, like... This reactive taser spell, it it's insane, I feel like. Yeah, uh, it really is. DM? The, the fact that it reapplies is so weird. So doesn't even wanna, yeah. He doesn't even wanna press tombstone, nothing. He just takes the L. Oh no. DM more like DL. Back to the normal. Yeah, back to the normal. Like, what is this? <laughs> Fucking, uh, you know, moms and dead mothers and, you know, all that jazz. Yeah, yeah, the good stuff, the good stuff. Oh, the good stuff, yeah. Shit. BZM, he is fine. Oh, that's a two-man RP on the supports in the back. Boom, 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 Lich ulti. 
Okay, Yoragi will join this fight. He's going for the Boxer. Boxy does not have Taser. Could this be... A survive for Boxy even? Yeah, he got... I mean, sorry, for... He did survive. He does have Aegis too, actually. Didn't notice that. Uh, for Why does Lich Ulti feel so powerful sometimes? Which one? Lich Ulti. I don't know. I think Lich is just broken, actually. It's like literally my favorite support right now. Except for Techies. Techies, Lich are my two favorites, and Liquid got both of them. Mm. They're so strong. They just win yeah, lanes. Really and they scale into mid to late game pretty decently as well. Like, actually well, I would say. Yeah, oh, sure. this could be a huge kill. Mickey has uh, no Manta. Come on. Come on. They got him. Huge kill. All right, that was a little bit sloppy by uh, Liquid. That gave him my way back. Mm. There we go. That's also a problem I have, by the way. Think about this. Tormento. When you do Tormento, would you rather have a Rubik and Caudal shard? What the fuck is that? Or Techies and Lich. Now, those shards are fucking insane. Like, they're like top, top 10 shards of all time kind of shards on Techies and uh, Lich right now. He needs someone to play with. They're really? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no cap. I mean, the Techies one, I'm questioning. The Liches, I know, is good. No, no, no. The Techies one is crazy, bro. It's his old axe. Think about it like that. You just get axe. Yeah, but you never saw his old axe, so that's well, not really yeah, an argument. Sure, but it's still really good. It's still, like, it's amazing when you put it on your carry and they go in, I've noticed. Like, people hit him, they don't know what's going on. Yo, this thing is so annoying, by the way. When Ember, like, remnants through you. Like, you know, he remnants across the map and he breaks smoke. It breaks way. smoke. Oh, that's the worst. Man. Yeah. That feels so bad. Yeah, yeah. This is massive. This is like Anisha. Just too good right now. They're coming over. Nisha's just. He's not chilling up here. He feels no pressure. DM is like dying, dude. The rest of the team is block, 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 block. He's so dead. Gonna pop crimson, but he's just literally dead. Oh my god. This is such a disaster. Oh no. That felt so bad for DM. Nobody's sliding in his DMs after that performance right there. No way. They need to defend. They need to be in the base because I mean there's gonna you be a out, lot of damage onto it out lane let's say the undying and <laughs> bye bye <And> the <laughs> this hero yeah pretty much I mean last time you he had some impact I thought but too. yeah not that much because he smashed the lane yeah he didn't really like smash it he did good but yeah, didn't smash I mean the Skyra way. smashed the lane yeah, that's true that, Skyra was only here that was the Aaron with Skyra he was MVP that I, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to blame Taiga or anything, but he, 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 I don't think it's the Rust even. I just think this hero sucks. I think it's the most, maybe the most overrated hero of all time. Right? I don't understand. However, people would ban and first phase this when there's so many fucking busto heroes out there. Like his shard is just arguably kind of garbage as well. So doesn't abuse the, yeah. abuse the tormento either. So recall. Yeah. yeah. Kind of They're keeping their position, let's just say it like that. Three minutes. But Boxy has actually that high ground. No, those are Rubik mines, I think, actually. Yeah, <laughs> those are Rubik. Oh my god, he's almost dead. Holy oh, shit, they turn the mines against the mine man, but DM is already dying. He's tanking a lot, though. He's tanking a lot here. This is not bad, good for them. RPUs, but only on Undying. Ursa didn't even pop ulti. Slow mana somehow. Ah, uh, Ember sniped Rubik in the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's big. Rubik buyback. Yeah. Can they maybe fuck with Nisha here? I don't know if they can chase. No. It's awkward. Actually, mm. Alright, they use a lot, but no Tombstone, no one dying right now. This was pretty good by OG. Like, this Techie's kill is extremely clutch, I would say. Yeah. In such a game to get this kind of kill, but... There was no angle for Ursa to jump somebody with his, his uh, resources. Mm -hmm. He needs Nullifier and Basher as well. Yeah. Oh, here we go. They're gonna go in Insania a little bit, but he's so tanky with Phalanctory. What the fuck? He has a Phalanctory? <laughs> That's a random one on Lich. Okay. is pressuring. And racks are exposed here. Oh no. This is gonna make it so awkward. <laughs> oh, so awkward. Awkward. And they cancel TPs up there. Oh no. They need more Taiga as well. They, can't really they don't really want to cancel the TPs. TP they want them to they TP so they can pick them off. Yeah, they're picking them off, alright. This tombstone is already done and they're already separated. Look at Zai, he's like, eh, hey, come here. Look at Zai, he caught Taiga as well. 
Hey? Taiga Super Dead. Oh. Oh. Ruptured on BZM as well, by the way. Out through the simulator ring? Yeah, okay, take it. Come far. You know where he is. Rupture lasts so long, dude. Why does it last so long? Holy shit, he's dead. 12 seconds. Yeah. That's so long. Like, some spells, I feel like, you know, they nerfed all the stuns in Dota by like 20%, 30%, but then, you know, some spells that don't stun or just feel longer now, you know? Oh, or surprise, Ursa jumped in, but then he jumped right the fuck out again. He realized he couldn't kill him. And that's game, I think. He screwed him back. Nullifier. Mala fire to oh, Gold Scepter, God. they're bullying the bear. He will get TP out, but he knows this is a GG TP. Quite get that team wipe, unfortunately. Oh, Zai staying on the high ground looked like Yeah, he was either on a cliff. They're lacking a little bit of synergy with their team, I guess. You guys are saying nah Kappa. Guys, they won a major last year, you know? This these players. It was a Mar and Seven, but I mean that's kinda what I mean. Yeah. Courier was just killed I mean, I don't know how common knowledge this is, but I think it should be at this point. Amar was a very strong voice for this team. True. He ha he had these fuckers under control. Yeah. You know, if it wasn't him, it was Seb. If it wasn't Seb, it was both of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? But now it feels like they're just they're they're kind of like playing a pub here and there. Here and there for sure, yeah. Oh. They played. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Now it's dead. Okay, this Bloodseeker bleeding like crazy in this fight. Okay, Yoragi gets a kill. Oh, one mine exploding. People forget so easily in my chat and all the chats about teams' results, I feel like, you know? Even if they were literally the same year, you know? They forget. And people flame secret, they won, they got second place at TI, hello? You know? <laughs> like, they're better than 99% of teams. Pro teams out there. For instance, you know? It's just very difficult. It's a classic. But yeah, that's fine. Mount up soon. I mean, they're still fighting on OG. I'm surprised. I think this this was just like I, I, me looking at these heroes. I think they're not just like the strong voice shit. I think their hero ideas are wrong right now. If these are the heroes they're prioritizing over Mag Techie's Lich Bloodseeker, I don't know, dude. That does not seem like the play. I agree with that. I'm just Rubik talking overall, really. Some weak bitches right there. I feel like for sure. Ursa also very lackluster. I mean, he's he's an average tier carry right now. Don't get me wrong, he's not bad. But like, you see no other team picking him really. Like, there's a reason for that. You're back, but it won't hit. Can they fight this? Maybe. Ah, I mean, the Mickey is just standing his ground. He has Aegis. Not damage. Ursa is taking out the fuck. Yeah. I don't know if this Aghanim is doing a lot. What, what angle did they see here? I don't know, I feel like Lich Armor denies every angle right now. There's no nullifier yet on Ursa. He's getting there, but... Can Ursa claw through it? No. I mean, yes way, but it takes like those 2-3 extra hits and it's just too much. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, this would have been a competitive game if OG managed to keep it even until they had a nullifier, I think. Because it, it's Lich Armor, Empower, Bloodseeker Q, like you purge all of those when you press it on Bloodseeker. And Mjolnir even. It's crazy good. Yeah, guess says Insania, I hate life, says DM. I feel you, brother. Uh, uh, just come back. Maybe yoink Liquid's idea of what heroes to draft, because I think Liquid have way more broken heroes. Because OG did good, if you think about it, guys. I'm not coping here, I'm not being paid to say this, but... OG did hold their own for 15 minutes or so. They were even, and then they had a bad fight. If they had that with good heroes, maybe that's the difference, you know? Maybe that's the difference. Stolen. It's just every single time I see this. It's happen, definitely support diff. It feels like it's so important. Support diff was huge this game, yeah. And the, the, the tier of the supports. Yeah, especially when yeah. you've got supports on the other side. One more? Nah, I don't watch draft now. Earth Spirit? Okay, OG want to lose the draft again. Taiga's asking for Earth Spirit. What is this shit? Oh, that's so bad, I feel like. This hero is not that impressive anymore. Hopefully, he proves me wrong, but damn. What are we buying here, guys? What are we picking? Oracle is solid, really good hero to purge Lich Shield and all Earth Spirit spells. It's like impossible to play Earth Spirit against Lich Oracle, by the way. He destroys Earth Spirit. 
that's good. He wants to. And I was also a hero that can find Oracle theoretically, but yeah, it's tough. Oh, why Earth Spirit guys? Why do they have to do this to themselves? Slark Oracle should be punished instantly here. Maybe a little Pugna off lane. Uh, one thing I could see OG do here nah. Fucking Earth Spirit, dude. I hate Earth Spirit so much. Do, but you're gonna I don't know what they should go for. Not Pagna, that's for sure. That is Axe? I like Axe a little bit. Enigma, alright, that's the ranged hero with uh, okay, Earth Spirit that I was looking for. I think it's smart. I think it's a smart Enigma pick. It's a solid pick. I still think Liquid might be winning the draft a little bit, but I like this Enigma pick a little bit. Probably we're gonna see a puck. I don't know if BZM plays LD, guys. But BZM does play Monkey if they want to put Yuragi on LD mid. Instant Wyvern. Okay, that's an LD denier. Not gonna see LD against that. That was so fast. As a BKB piercing cancel for the hole. It's a good hero against Monkey, like really good. Other than that... I don't really have a lot of reason to travel. Whoa, Mirana. Well, that's an interesting one. I've seen some Mirana mid on up and coming. But that's an untraditional pick for sure. Not a traditionally good hero against Slark either. Not amazing. Oh, Zai's gonna play the Wyvern. And Box is gonna play post 4 Doom. Cool. Wow, there's another swap up. BZM is playing our Spirit mid, guys. What the fuck is happening? There's a Taiga. Mirana. Okay. Dude, this is some crazy shit. Right. A lot of swaps. Okay, dude. Earth Spirit. I guess he's gonna rush like a vessel, but I'm not sure if he wants to do that against an Oracle. Oh, that's a big smoke. Monkey, careful. Chu, what are you doing? What you doing, Chu? What you doing? I think it's worth blood grenading there. Ah, it's not, maybe. Oh, that was a little bit sleepy by OG. I don't know. A little bit sleepy. They were surprised by the late smoke. He actually looked AFK. Four runes for Liquid, and an Observer Ward, and First Blood. Oh my, they have a 1k lead, guys. It's fucking over. Look at that. And the Ward, and the First Blood. All of that. No way. Call it. <laughs> just, just call it, dude. I would consider it. Nice kickback. That's some good stuff, actually, by BZM. Holy shit. Oh, Gamba. Alright, I'll do the Gamba for you guys. Every every five oh, just missing. BZM is gonna be under and behind the tower. Zai low and Zai what am I missing? I missed the kill bottom. Oh, they got the kill bottom. All right, all right, that's good. I think OG are have a good chance this game, guys. The way I'm seeing mid going right now for BZM, I have great hope for them. I have great hope for them. BZM is kind of only two CS only on Isha. Well, now three, but yeah. Putting it in his backpack for a very long time. Okay, finally does it. Maybe he's not used you gotta to love Monkey King's blood attack blood range dispatch. It's so nice. Against five and O on Nisha, this is pretty massive. I, I would BZM is fucking owning it. I don't know what he's doing, but Nisha is like rattled, dude. Nisha is rattled by BZM right now. He's actually owning. But uh, yeah, this is pretty massive. Who knows? Okay. Like double of his CS at the moment. Cooking for sure. Generic's the best way to describe. Up lane nine denies on Enigma, so that's pretty good. Them too. Yeah, so far all three lanes winning. If it wasn't for this rune incident, OG would actually have a one kill lead right now. I was covering was Somnus, and he went this matchup though. Is the CS starts to close up a little bit. Zetsi, nice of the five months. Miracle when he's coming, dude. I I'm not kidding, guys. Right now, I actually dreamt about a Dota tournament, and then last minute they uh, Chu gonna die here. Yeah, but this is like worth it for Raggy. Oh, he got the fruit. Box doesn't go fruit. Okay, that's big. I actually dreamt that Miracle came in last second as a stand-in. He just walked out on stage, you know, and everybody, the crowd went wild. <laughs> it was like part of a very big dream. It was a small part of it, but I remember that. Oh, nice, nice one by Nisha. Good pressure there. Very good pressure by Nisha. That's what. That's that's when I'm tilted mid right there. First collapse star, so he's like has a black hole and stuff, so makes it. Balance strike, sinister gaze, Zai in trouble once again. They'll throw the blood grenade. They've got the frost shield on Yuragi. What's happening here? So Boxy. The and Dude, Boxy is maybe going to get the trade here, but if he dies afterwards, it's so not worth it. He has a killing spree. Nah, he's not going to die. It's fine. BZM mid, though. Getting gone on. He's okay. Blood grenade. 
Oh, he does get the kickoff. Nisha will die in return, but that's... I think that's a net win for... Oh, oh. Oh, oh, we got the arrow. There it is. Yep. You're back, Absor. You're missing OG are actually playing the game. But you, you know what happened at the start? You would have gone crazy. It was first blood for Liquid. I got a, killed the ward and got four runes. <laughs> they got everything. It was awful. What the fuck? Yeah, abs absolutely awful. I don't know. They, they were kind of asleep on OG. I got surprised. It was like a late smoke, you know? They smoked, like, right when the rune spawns, you know? And they smoked up to a high ground. Got everything. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, Yurangi's gonna get stacks here. It's actually not that bad. I guy's kind of owning this game, actually. This is much better than his Coddle. And they kill Zai? Nah, no way. This is too scary. You gotta be careful here. Zai, Yurangi's taking so much damage. Fine. But Chu just moving forward and throwing the frost. Ivan not playing the joke to do. Yeah. What's Tiger? Ooh. Ah. Ooh. I ooed a little bit too soon. Sorry. But I thought he was going to sneak around the entire team and get the ward. But I uh, ruined. But Boxy was already on it. Boxy was already on it. Too bad. Too bad. This is a huge bait from Taiga. Because now Yuragi gets a free fight. Gonna kill uh, Insania. This is so good by Taiga. And then maybe they're gonna go on Zai too. I don't know, Blood Grenade. Yeah, Zai is fucked. Huge. And Taiga survives. BZM comes in, he wastes ulti though. Almost killed him. Yep. Yeah. Oh, double Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the, he's, it's been buffed. Dude, Zai is this last week Wyvern. It's getting trashed here. Yuragi is one of those monkeys I put up there, you know? Like one of the best for sure. It's him, it's uh, on carry specifically. It's him, it's Crystalis. Maybe there's one more, but Duracho is pretty good too. Mickey is also very good. But yeah, he's, he's a beast on this Heroes. He's carried a few games. Okay, they're gonna ult the Nisha, but look, there's gonna be purged by Insania instantly. Boop. Well, that's Earth Spirit vs Oracle for you, right? Oh, he spread it before. No, it's fine. You can purge that, right? Yeah, you can. BZM is low mana. He has 15 stick, though. Insania's dead to BZM, they go after Nisha, he's got the Astral Step, but Nisha. Magatai's still pulsing. Oh, he can't jump on Monkey be because of this thing. The roll over the they see him. Huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is on, the is but it's fine, who cares? They got the kill. Yep. And they get the Rolling on Mickey. Here. Damn, I like this aggression by OG, guys. Literally giving four runes, giving first blood, and still owning this hard. That is crazy. I want to sec check the lose and win betters in my chat because I opened the prediction right after that happened. <laughs> it's 67-33. It's not that crazy, actually. Not that crazy. Still. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks like uh, this uh, Wyvern is not working. No, the Wyvern is definitely not working. I mean, it's a good Wyvern game, don't get me wrong. Like, he has value in this game, but the laning is just too weak, I guess. Honest work, mm -hmm. gotta pay tribute to the meme. I mean, I just see uh, bigger spirits will jump Wyvern. Yeah, this Insania will get ulti off. No, he will not use it there. He knows he's so dead. Roll and oh, Astral Stab. Dude, Yuragi is everywhere, man. Yeah, yeah. Yuragi plus BZM fucking combo everywhere. Godlike monkey 12 minutes in. What a hero. Yuragi's godlike 13 minutes into the game. Ah, this hero's too cool, man. Monkey's awesome. Trying to get that echo savory hey man, trying to get a diffu cooking. Not having the best Slark game, but he he he'll get there if he gets a good fight. Does not feel like a Mickey hero, by the way. Slark, I don't know. Do you agree? Boxy's low. Oh, big Mickey goes in. That's a nice curse. Wastes all monkey stacks he built up, and DM is dead. Holy shit. That's big. Lich ulti on Zai. I don't know. They're forcing a bit hard here, maybe, right? Really yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. Like this. He didn't manage to cut the tree on Mickey. He will go. Nisha is here. Ah, oh, they forced way too hard. OG overcooked. Overcooked G. Yuragi dead. Oh my god, what are they doing? Where's Taiga during all of this? Oh, he's going for the rune steal. Oh, that's so game losing though. I mean, this is a shit play anyway. After the doom didn't die. Yeah, that's, that is a shit play for sure. That was a really shit play. So. DM going for Weed, a stanky item. Gotta say, the Lich ultis are pretty angry, man. <laughs> yeah, he's just popping them, throwing them instantly. He's just throwing it, yeah. Holy shit, Desolator. That's an interesting choice this game. That's a black hole. They're gonna Oracle ult him early here and start healing him already. He will not die here, there's no way. 
Unless? Are you sure? I'm not sure. It's close. Oh, we cut the tree back. He's going. Holy bazoom. Holy shit, bazoom. Ah, never mind. He's baiting. He knows there's no doom, actually. I just realized. Of course. No doom, no oracle ult. And he, he, to be honest, he didn't roll into tower range, which was really no. good for him. Okay, they don't get the kill. And there's two people on liquid farming the map, so that's really good. Liquid. Oh, these rolls not connecting. They need those. Get a pick off, and they also want to get Zai back into the game. I kind of feel like he shouldn't have that went Vanguard. Yeah, I mean Vanguard splits into Octarine, right? Does have which yes, but the vessel is delayed, uh -huh. and the vessel will pump your net worth with the kills that you get. This game he's playing against Oracle Slark, which is definitely not great. But uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure really. Yeah, I thought he was gonna skip the vessel this game actually because of the Oracle Slark thing. I, think every time I feel like the like to be honest, I've been well, playing the hero a lot lately, and I, I feel like he has no choice. Okay. Not over. There is no other item, kinda, that, that will make him, that will boost him. So yeah. I mean, you need it. It's a good all throughout the game, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earth spirits can get really scary later on too, though, right? If they have Octarine, BKB, and shit like that, it's like fuck. Yeah. It's just like this vessel timing needs to come ASAP. We're gonna start to see kind of nice. It's no joke. I'm really glad no, to read. First of all, even the ones you see in these games usually. Like Lich, Oracle, techie, stuff like that. Okay, Oracle caught. That's yeah, that's great. a big catch. That's vessel charges too. Very needed. Oh, hello. Arcano rune. I don't think, I don't think he has spells. Oh my. Wow. Holy shit. That was he has cool. Arcanes, He's roll? cooking, man. No. <laughs> too late, too late. Overcooked. Oh shit. He's burnt. He burnt. Okay. He burnt. What can you do? That was a sick roll. I feel like the... The last roll came too late? I think he had it, no? Yeah, maybe. Oh my god, that's a, that's a lich ulti right there. Holy okay. shit. Solo kill. Triple tipped. Wow, that was a monster. Monster solo kill. Yep. What the fuck? That was like, game saving for them. <laughs> Who cares if he dies? He got the carry. It's still 58% only for Liquid. It's not crazy. But it was at some point way more for happening here. And Bazim, he's not the target though. He's too fat. Octarine online. That's big. That is big. They did end up going north. So, but he's still like like one BKB away or something from being really strong. Probably a beneficial move that they didn't go with. Foxy guy. Blink solar. But I think you're you're telling me you would buy shard on Mirana instead of Mech. Wow, so not Mirana. No, no, no. If I'm Lich, if I'm Lich, I think it's good to just buy it because I need it I mean, anyway. That's, right? that's a different situation because that's an actual actual good yeah, shard. Yeah, no, I wouldn't buy it if it was shit. Of course. But like, I've yeah. seen Oracles a lot. Like you know, you don't take Tormentor and 30, 40 minutes in, they don't have shard, and you're like, what the fuck? Buy it, bro. Uh, I mean, that's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. that's fucked up. He would be the they only one in the team spamming. Let's get, let's get, yeah, let's get know. the tormentor. <laughs> let's get tormentor, and the carries are the oh, entirely no, other BZM side of the map. Oh no, Oh, this is so bad for them. It's super tanky. It's so There's tanky. No yeah. Oh, he didn't uh, astro step in front of him, so he five now. But now he, yeah, he might have actually died. Uh, I think so. Well, only Chu dying right now. We haven't seen any good fight for Roji for a while now, but they're playing against Doom, man. You can't fuck around too much. No Midas on Enigma or anything. Doesn't need boots on the hero. Just rolling. In. They escape, and now Sar coming in. Finding Big BZM fat guy is another. Hey uh, guys, going on Insania here. Insania gets his thing off. Could this be a hole, maybe? And yeah, they're very good enough. for this wyvern, but there's no wyvern here. <laughs> Wyvern's not even here, actually. Yeah. Sar could have been hold. Yeah, yeah. They didn't know he wasn't here. Mm -hmm. Nisha was holding his uh, thing, though. I think, but they can block that. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Box is having an extraordinarily good game. Zero deaths, five zero seven doom. Very greedy, but it's working out. I think his greed is paying off. Oh no no no! They're gonna find the lich. I mean, this is a free kill, right? Does a signature move, throws the ulti out. Dude, Slark's not. Oh, I thought the EM would have black hole there. Oh, I thought he was gonna black hole the wyvern. It would have been so good, I think. This is so bad for OG. This is so bad. Ooh. Mickey waiting at the right oh spot right now. Oh my god. 
Mine get. Oh, don't pull me there! Ah. I don't want to be there. Oh my god, he had like 50 HP. That was so cool. One hit off. Oh, Doom wasted. All right. Oh, oh that answers your question. Mm -hmm. Team Liquid's doing a very good job, like not allowing them to team fight properly. You're I don't know, man. Game. This game is fucking rough, the mm -hmm. one, the mm -hmm. of item on Monkey King Damage each shell. bounce, so it scales really well. It's 250 at start, but level three is 550 per bounce. Like that's a lot. Ten bounces. That's a lot. That's crazy. Uh, what is incremental damage? What does that mean? Each bounce increases the damage. I don't even know that. Each bounce is that 25 was, uh, Yeah, very old buff. Oh, I don't even remember that one. Oh, they found another freebie down here. Huge. Uh, pause play. I love it. Oh, I didn't know about that one. So it does like 600 maybe on average after a few bounces. That's huge. If you think about it like this, it does a lion finger every bounce. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, that's a buzzum kill, I think. He's tanky, but he ain't that tanky. Run, run away. Gem as well. Oh, so but the black hole, the black hole, the monkey ulti. Could this be it? Could this be it? They got him. The curse is gonna be here, but it's late, and I don't think it's a good curse target actually. Monkey Not doesn't do damage. Monkey. He could have killed Mirana. He could have killed Mirana, or even maybe Enigma. Very good. I think buy. the vision oh. is weird. Make your buyback. Make your buyback. Luna's black hole is out. Now they feel confident they can't lose this fight. Oh, you're arguing on the trees. You're arguing on the trees. Oh, he doesn't know where to go. There's five heroes here. Jump. Oh, he could be TP. Oh, no, the pounce. Okay. The pounce does actually cut that tree. He hits it. Ah, damn. If BZM has buyback, maybe that's different. But double buyback by Liquid. So. Unfortunate for OG. Smart buybacks, there are no hesitation. Instantly come, came down here. Open here. What's the plan? Oh, pounce miss. Oh, gonna go on Taiga. A classic Lich ulti, but no bounce. Oh, it did bounce. But he's dead. Double jump by Nisha in. Draghi's in a position here. Oh, he sees Wyvern. That's the best target. Can they maybe fight this? Nullifier wasted. Um, the Oracle as well. Ragi. Guiding his time. Alright, no Lich. I wonder how many deaths Lich has. This. Probably a lot. Not like too many terrible deaths, but he doesn't have a lot of them. Oh, he finds Eye. Yeah, he Holy shit, horrible. he kills him. Right? Why is he not hitting him, by the way? I feel like he should hit him right now. Why is he not hitting him? He's Oracle ulted on Wyvern. Yeah, but yeah, he get your stacks. stacks. Yeah. yeah. That's a decent oh, black good. hole. Very good black hole. This BZM is dead, though, somehow. No, my friends. Doomed. Yeah, BZM is dead. Doomed. Yeah. I don't see how he died. I mean, oh, I think OG are done so here. I had so much hope this game though, but one bad fight like top lane really brought Liquid back into it. Like, they didn't care about these stupid wisdom runes. And they just kind of fed making a play without Earth Spirit. Unfortunate. Unlucky. Yeah, that is unlucky for sure. Yeah. I just feel like Dyer have such an easier time playing this game. Yeah, why? That's what, uh, I mean, I don't know, the draft, again. Ravels on like, Insania, he's trolling. I know the Wyvern lost the lane, but now when it's when you make one bad play and Wyvern comes into the game, yeah. this... Oh. Buzz him. They're gonna go on uh, Wyvern. He doesn't have Curse. He is ulti. Ah, uh, I don't know about this. He has to TP out the Nuragi. That's so sad. Lich coming in with the ulti. <laughs> Always there, man. Always there. No stacks for you. That's sad. Alright, that's probably gonna be game here, I think. I'm gonna go for the and no buybacks on two of them. Like I could leap in and do 170 damage. Nice. Die has brooch. 
Yeah, I saw it. It's Revenant's brooch. It's definitely, they're definitely trolling a bit with items now. They know this game is over. Maybe it is a legit on Wyvern, I'm not sure. I think it's... Yeah, Wyvern is picked against, like, Monkey or whatever, right? He needs to claw through that armor. Or ignore it. I think there was a small build issue on Liquid's items, maybe a little bit, but... I will say this, that I think they recovered from a first blood four runes uh, scenario into a winning position, but they, you're just not allowed to make those mistakes like you did against Liquid, where Monkey and Lich are trying to go for solo kills, while Earth Spirit and Marana, the two important heroes for these early kills, are not there. Mega creeps, alright. I mean, the thing is, this game, any mistake at any point in the game, it'll start to look like this, because yeah. they have Earth Spirit and Enigma cores. Yeah. So 65 seconds with like, like either you first smash first. the early game and snowball with this Greaves pipe and Earth Spirit keeps going crazy and his net worth is up because of kills. He really wants to kill Taiga here, his former teammate. Die, Taiga, oh, black hole in 0.1 seconds. Rampage for Nisha, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> I didn't know he was the one killing them. GG. He killed Mickey, easy. And Nisha, he's huge on Monkey. Not too bad for Liquid. I mean, they perform. Not surprising result, but I thought I thought they at least could win one game. This game was the one to win for OG. Back with their full roster, they just game one they had a clueless draft for sure. But game two they had a good draft. They played well. They just fucked up the mid game a little bit. Like you said, Yaps, or like, Earth Spirit and Rana need to make the moves. As soon as that fell apart, they fell apart.